today's video, I'm going to show you this super neon citrus design, and we're going to go ever so slightly into color theory in this video as well. I have a very long dedicated color theory video that was a live class that I did a while ago. Such good information in that video. If you struggle with color theory, pairing things together, and that is something that just is a foreign language to you, I highly recommend going back and watching that live stream. I'll put a link to it in the description box below. Otherwise, this video will just touch on color theory. Otherwise, it is such a pretty bright citrus color scheme, everything that just screams summer. So I adore it. I hope you guys like it and I'll see you all next time. Bye. So we're going to begin by applying white base coat, which is just a white gel polish over the top of my nail. If you are doing anything bright and neon, even if it seems like the colors are completely opaque, if you do apply a white layer underneath, it will make those colors so much more intensely bright. That that's my first little bit. It's not really color theory, but it's just painting with neons help. So the three colors that I'm using for my citrus is a really bright pink, a really bright orange, and a really bright yellow. When you are looking at a color wheel, you are going to notice that those colors are all right next to each other. They're in like a nice little row. So the middle color, so this is where you're going to use some of that color theory. You're going to find the middle color in this type of a situation, which would be the orange. That's the one that's between the yellow and the pink on your color wheel. Then you're going to go opposite the color wheel and you're going to find the complementary color. The complementary color for orange is blue. After you've done enough color theory knowledge, those opposite colors or complementary colors are something that's going to come to you immediately. And then some of these things, these questions, these answers are going to be so rapid. After you find your opposite color, your complementary color, I always say opposite because I feel like it's easier for my brain to think opposite side of the color, but the complementary color, then that is the color that you're going to use to outline and to surround these citrus and the stripes. The reason for that is because you are using a color that is, is complementary it is going to contrast greatly to the colors that are already in your design. The red or the the pink, the yellow, and the orange were the colors that were kind of necessary to do my little grapefruit, lemon, and orange slice. But then this dark, dark blue is the color that is your your chosen extra bonus color. The reason that you're going to go with a dark blue instead of a neon is because that is also complementary. You have two tones. You have your really, really bright and then you have your dark. That is going to further intensify the contrast between your citrus and your dark outline background color. This is just such a great knowledge base to have. This goes the same for if you're doing flowers. If you're doing something with a bunch of shades of flowers, say you have three colors of flower and you wanna have a background color that's going to make those flowers stand out, go to the middle color of your flowers, go to the opposite side of your color wheel. If your flowers are dark, do light. If your flowers are light, do dark. It is such a great color. If you need four colors for something, this is my favorite way to do it. The other way to do it, if you need four colors for a design, whether that be geometric, you know, flowers, whatever it is that you're doing. <laughs> if you need, if you need four colors, the great way to do it is to have three together, one opposite. The other way is to have two sets of two. So if you had say the pink and the orange, then you would have blue and green for your opposite colors because the green would be opposite the pink or complementary to the pink. So after I have my citrus done, I've got them all outlined. I've got the background painted. I'm going to apply matte top coat and then I'm going to fill in the little wedges with glossy top coat. And lo and behold, we have another element of contrast. So not only do you have the contrast between the orange and the blue, you have the contrast between the neon and the dark, and you have the contrast between the glossy and the shiny. And all of those elements, when you are composing a nail design or a painting or whatever artsy elf elephant elephant not artsy elephant <laughs> artsy elements you're trying to combine or elephants you know it could certainly be elephants um, if you keep searching for and grabbing and going to those contrasting elements it is going to make what you do stand out and just be so striking that people can't help but look at it and say hey look at that I like that they may not know why they like that but it's just there's so much to it that's sometimes subtle, like the glossy versus matte, but it looks so impressive. So I've got that same color theory that's applied to my citrus nails, and then I'm going to do the same thing on my stripes. On my three striped nails, I am alternating the order so that it's not necessarily in the same pattern going across all of them. So I'm going to do a pink stripe in the middle of this nail, and I'm going to start with that. After that's cured, then I'm going to add the yellow up above it. 
And then after the yellow's cured, I'm going to do the orange. I like to cure between each of these colors just so that the colors don't like run into each other or accidentally blend a little bit. I feel like it just helps solidify everything and set it in place so that I don't have any, oh man, I should have cured that quick. After I have all of my three main color stripes, I'm going to take a thin line of that dark blue and I'm going to separate each of them. Same thing, this is going to be the best contrasting element to really make those colors stand out even more. That dark blue stripe is going to make your neons even more neon. I am now going to take and apply the matte top coat, mainly focusing it just over the stripes and then glossy top coat over or the matte top coat over my blue stripes, I should say, because everything with this nail stripes, but then the glossy top coat over the orange, the pink, and the yellow. I also like that that gives a little bit of a bumpy texture because you have the extra thickness from the glossy top coat. Some people don't like the way that that feels. I personally absolutely love it. I think it just, you know, it's kind of a nice little sensory thing built onto your hands. Once that's cured though, this whole set is done. Give yourself some cuticle oil as a treat and then you are all set. I love this. Like I said, if you have any other questions on color theory, you can ask me below, but the answers are probably going to be in that live video that I did. If you haven't watched it, definitely check for that and I will see you all next time. Bye.